I was getting footage for the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 level tier list video, and I wanted to see some earlier states of a couple levels to see if some of my like guesses were correct. So I came across this in my internet searches. I started playing through it. There's a lot of different builds, but this is the one that's like, I think the earliest that we could find possibly. I thought it'd be fun to play it on stream and just kind of go through it together. And maybe we'll make a fun YouTube video and just give everybody a nice little look at how the skater used to control, the levels used to look like and all that sort of good stuff. There's quite a bit of older builds of older Tony Hawk games. This Tony Hawk came out in August. And I think this one is from the April before. I played another one before this. What I really wanted to see was the downhill level and the later versions of the game didn't have it. So I found this one. It has a bunch more stuff that I'd never seen before. I love the ease in the uh, text atlas because they're all just strung out. I feel like it was a, a bug, but it kind of like worked out in a, its own weird way. So using placeholders for other, um, for the other skaters. I feel like we should just be Tony for the sake of like, potentially the game breaking if we pick anyone else their speed lines yeah so school oh interesting warehouse isn't in this build i was playing a different build earlier today and warehouse was labeled training unless i'm tripping do i just not see it anyway let's check out school yeah we'll get there classic concrete i know one of the levels crashes and I think it's classic concrete. So something that's super annoying is after every trick, there's a crowd that claps for you. And it's just like, you know, Pepe W, please stop clapping. That's enough. Thank you for your praise, but it's, it's just too much. Um, anyway, so this is interesting right away. Um, so they has the awning up there, but it looks like the starting point uh, wasn't up there yet, or is just a bug from this build, but um, this building is gone. And I'm, like I said before, I think this was uh, a clue. Like it's just drawing way too much. The draw distance is just way too far. So they stuck a building there. But I think works for many other different reasons. I think like maybe it was always planned to be there. I'm not sure, but this big grassy knoll is like obviously not skatable anyway. So you might as well just put up a fat wall. Anyway, um, the other thing was, um, the rings that give bonus points. Like when I was working at Neversoft, I thought it would be a fun idea to put, uh, oh, did we just crash <laughs> when I was working on thaw, I put up rings around East LA and I thought it was a cool thing to do. And then I, here I am like what, 10 years, 15 years later, looking at this old build, seeing that they literally have almost the same exact looking rings that I had. It's like kind of wild. Um, just like a coincidence. Oh, I never went down this alleyway, but I noticed there's a lot of garbage cans and I'm somehow missing all of them. Okay. Hey, picnic table. Wait, can I not grind that? Oh yeah. When you have special, you glow. I guess there's no grinds on this. Oh no, you can't look at all this trash back here. Yeah, I'm glad they removed all these uh, dumpsters because these being in the way of like half piping would be a drag. Oh, I just hit my head on something. <laughs> oh, this must be the lamp. Oh, it's cool. They, it's just cool to see that like, oh yeah, they found that it would be a good idea to like guide the player through a grind here and not just mash them into the wall. But you know what else is weird is the, uh, there's, there's like the ring collectible things up in this walkway up here Hold on. You see him? Oh, wait, they're not there. I think maybe they were in the other build. Oh my God. Go. Okay. Yeah. You can't get in there. Okay. So something else I've complained about this all the time is that you can't Wally. -E. There's an invisible wall right here in the shipped version. And, uh, not in this version. And like we talked about this during the uh, the tier list stream that like the reason why they don't want you up here is so you can't see outside the level. So they just put invisible collision didn't allow you to get up here, but which I think is a bad fix. They should have just copy and pasted a building or a big wall to keep whatever. 
Um, I just want to be able to get up here. You know what I mean? Um, because it gives you more opportunities, more grinds, uh, gets you on top of the roof quicker. I don't know if the build is crashing after every retry. We might have to get a save state going of us in the level. I think it's crashing. Okay, let's try and go. Let's go through the gym and see what's up. Looks about the same. Something else that totally bothered me about this level still does. Is that when you go up this quarter pipe, the only thing to skate in the entire gym. I mean, no one's really skating these things. They're really dumb. Super small and short. The only quarter pipe in the, this entire, they just live right into the roof. It's like you can't transfer to the roof. You can't break through the glass and come right back down. You can't grind the top. You just like bonk your head on the roof. And it's like, okay. A small oversight, I think. Everyone's still clapping. Oh, and this wall's much smaller, but I, you can shuffle in this build, right? Yeah, look at that. I kind of like the special effect, right? But I think I can see why they took it away. Like the yellow sheen around the skater. They don't really need it. Right, I think the meter serves its purpose pretty well. Um, and I think it's kind of like ruins the immersion. And I think around this time it was like, yeah, we're like the skateboarding games. So like the skateboarders like us and we're gonna mess with skate culture. So we're like gonna be a little bit more or less gamey, I think, right? And so there's no need to have the skater glow. This whole back area has always been, I think this, this whole back area is like now in this build, it's even worse, right? But <clears throat> I think even in the final build, it's still a, like a, a, a bad part of the school. I say we move on. We got a lot of levels to cover. Option to turn the special glow on or off. I mean, if it's not serving a purpose, might as well just I don't know. Having options means you have to test the game twice as much. Not literally, but you just have to test it every time. And I just, I don't know. I would just say go with the better option for everyone. Pretty much the same. The only thing I noticed is that that, um, the passageway, like they had some like you know, tunnel kind of situation um, <clears throat> over here. And something else I noticed that the quarter pipe um, grinds don't really work. So yeah, this this reminds me of the, the London. Um... Oh man, who made London? You know, the underground parking garage in London and Tony Hawk 4? This looks like it has almost like the same exact vibes. It's kind of crazy. I wonder... I think Aaron made this level. Actually, I don't know who made this. This music fits very well. I wish we weren't hearing so many claps. Something else I noticed is that the only way to get on top of the roof and to get it to load properly is to go through the, the T2T tunnel here. The trucker to tr uh, to tunnel. See, like now it'll load. It's like an actual transition area. But what I, what I don't understand is like, okay, we have this loaded now, but isn't the bottom still loaded? Can't we just like jump down? But maybe the other side of the level is loaded. Skip to restart. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that actually worked. We can actually see the roof. I noticed they have these grinds um, 
connecting across the gaps in the QPs, but the QP grinds are broken in this build. And this is the copy paste pool from Chicago. <laughs> hey, I would do the same. These rail placements always like were weird to me. Like they do feel just kind of like, oh, we just throw them up there and then we'll like figure it out later. And they just like never figured it out. They're just kind of like, whatever. Uh, what else haven't we seen this level? We haven't seen the cheesy, the wedge gap. This whole thing. <clears throat> it's the same though. It's surprising because considering they're still five months out, most of the levels seem like they're pretty far along. Oh yeah, this, this pole right here is gone. That one little bitty grind. And right away, I remember I was like trying to get to the top using these and I was like, oh, it just won't load. See, I was just nothingness up there. And why are there arrows pointing to this? This makes me think that there was another tunnel over here at some point. Maybe another way to get to the roof. <laughs> that fall, how he's just like stationary at the bottom. Level exits, interesting. Wow, I didn't land that, what? Oh, the other thing, the funny thing was, is that like the first time playing this build was like, or the other one too, was that I was like grinding at the end after time. And then the game just stopped. It was like, oh, you don't get to combo after time. They had to add that functionality in later. They just like cut me off. I was like, oh, okay. I guess I'm done with my combo. Ooh. So this one's pretty straightforward. I think it's like pretty done. And this was what confused me. And this is why I wanted to play this build was like, did this level come after the downhill level or at the same time? Or was this the downhill level and they just ax the whole downhill part? And my, que my question was very simply answered is that they were developed at the same time because the downhill section is right after this. You could tell that whoever made this level was using assets from the Chicago skate park for the end skate park at this level. But I could totally uh, appreciate a level like this. Like I could, I could really get into these types of levels, like the top skater, street skater kind of downhill vibe. Um, maybe not for every level, like, but a nice mix of just downhill and then places to session and hang out and then like go downhill, like, and then a teleport at the bottom and bring it at the top or just like a never ending, like streaming situation would be great too. But you know, it's PS one. So yeah, we're gonna have to keep going forward because there's quite a, uh, a bit of ground to cover. Whoops. These little bitty ramps are so bad. Oh, I noticed you could wall ride these just go right through. Oh, I've never actually gotten that icon, that SK icon. Oh, what? Come on, we're running out of time. No. Actually, might be good to just run through this again. What is interesting is that they have a bunch of tape sprinkled about, and it's just like you get it, and it's just like tape <laughs> just as tape got it's like clearly just like a proto for item placements oh and here's the skate park at the bottom see what i mean how it's just like oh like 
it's just Chicago, but before Chicago was like figured out. But now we know they were just like whoever made this level was just like, oh yeah, let me just put Chicago at the end so you have like a place to skate to get the end kind of thing. All right, we'll run through it one more time though. Didn't we just Okay. Is replay like watch the replay? That might be messing with me a little bit. Confusement. Nice word. We were talking about good words the other day in John and Josh's stream. Tape. And I think uh, vestibule was the winner. It's a good word. It's like not too big. It's not too college-y, you know what I mean? But it's still good. Anyway. Those little bumps suck. Um, this one, I immediately is like, ooh, toxic sludge. What happens when we do go in there? But it's just like literal invisible collision, like preventing you. But um, you can weasel, you can finagle your way in there from over here and it's just ground. But you can tell like the idea is there. It's cool. I like these types of linear kind of like spoon feedy levels. Now and again with a bunch of options. Say on special gap names in one and two. Um, I don't think so. No, actually. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Kind of a basic um, skate park at the end. Nothing too crazy. You could tell they were just like, just fill the space, just get it together, and then we'll play it, figure it out. So yeah, it's downhill. So this again, this is all like pretty far along. Like it's so surprising to me that like five months before ship, they're just like almost every level is done and pretty much fully arted. Like obviously there's placeholders in here still, but it's just like really close. And also grind balance is like way tougher. I haven't figured it out yet. Like sometimes I press it and it feels like it doesn't do anything. I think you have to really like lean into it. Like hold right or left for a lot longer. Oh, this little thing I noticed was is new. This whole this this entire kind of situation here, even on the ship version was it was always a little bit weird to me. And then oh we got this. You could tell he's trying to like figure it out. Same with down here too. It's always a little weird. But it's good enough. Also notice this is collidable. So it just like stops you. <laughs> Signing up to Winter Roach. Dude, I noticed that Simon's made out of Comic Sans too. It's like even back then in 1999, I remember Comic Sans being um, like a meme. You know what I mean? Like no one uses Comic Sans even in 1999. But like whoever arted that must have like was aware, you know? Oh, right replay use it when you're I mean I did too um very briefly I remember using it on this like what was it x pages or x express pages or something um it was like before myspace I remember like way before but a similar kind of situation but that was the only time Where is it? Sign up here to win Papa Roach. It's 
kind of disappointed to see um, these aren't quarter pipes. They like it's basically the same as ship. This area always kind of made me bummed out because there was potential for hanging out and sessioning, and then it's just it's also still not in this build. It wasn't GeoCities or Zanga. Those are like kind of the same era as like, you know, Angel Fire and stuff, but like before that. I can't remember what it was. Models made by Pouncer. Yeah, that's Aaron. Camera sweater. The only thing I know he's made is this and um, New York from Tony Hawk 2. And I think he started on Paris for three, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this is also weird. If we can get it back up here, is that these things are not awnings here? They're like little waterfall displays, which kind of make more sense why they're wall writable, but still not really. But it's interesting to see. You get a little bit of a look into that thought process. Bro, do a flip. I'm flipping right now, brother. A nice like, crash right through it. What's the uh, special? Is it right, right circle for? Uh, I mean, it may not be in this build, but we'll see here. No, it's not in this build. All right, there's your flip. So I think this crashes the game. Classic concrete. Oh. If I had to guess is that it would be Burnside. Yeah, it's not working. Suburbia, I think, is not. Um, is this the San Francisco? Yeah, it's an early state. So this is what I would expect out of most of the levels at this stage in the project, like still kind of figuring it out. But my guess is that someone finished a level they were working on and then moved on to start working on this. And so you're getting the idea of like the scale and kind of the size of everything and what kind of art needs are going to be going into this thing with paper maps and stuff. Um, yo, Harry Blotter. Thanks for that gift. So let's go and snooze with the nine months. Thanks, man. For sure. Harry. anytime. Yeah. So that's that. So yeah, I think what, what did I just click? This is, um, there's two levels that are kind of a duplicate of this and it's just, um, it's a bunch of thrown together. I don't know, like test levels or just unfinished construction site levels. So that was freeway, right? Yeah. Sorry. I should have shown more of that, but there really isn't much to see, but I should show you that there's not much to see back here. Oh, nothing. See, I mean, it's just like, okay. This reminds you of just like a test level. Like if you need a place to throw in a model to look at it and get a sense for scale and just like, how does this look in the game? Like you probably just throw it in here, export it and then look at it here. But maybe this is intended to be a level at some point, but I, I don't know for sure. This is the best Twitch account. You beat my friends in Tony one and two pub lobby when the game first came out and we thought you were hacking. Turns out you're goaded. <laughs> That's funny. Right on, man. We'll tell your friends. I thoroughly enjoyed beating them and I can hear their cries from miles away. <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, okay. Roswell. Roswell, I was impressed. I, I quickly went through these earlier and um, this looks like a fully kind of like designer art. Like when I would make levels, this is kind of what it would look like. You know what I mean? Without any art yet. You'd sometimes get like an artist be like, hey, let me uh, grab that thing from you. I'll just make it look like a little bit nicer. Like I think there's a UFO sticking out of the thing. Yeah, like there. And like the silo here. So it's not totally stylized. They must be waiting on concept art still and just kind of like they have an idea what they're going for. And But the layout is all there. It's like pretty much the same as what we see. I noticed that this is a little bit taller. 
Oh man, the quarter pipe rails are so broken in this build. Oh, and then this is a, that kicker up there. Ends up being a kicker, but this, there's like a little flat at the beginning, so you can't roll up it to jump. Oh, I also noticed that you can foot plant from grinds or boneless, you know. And there's a bunch of stretch textures and stuff. Looks like the same texture. Well, modified texture from Chicago walls. In the skate park. And yeah, that's kind of it. We just went through all the levels. It's really easy for us to go through because we already all have them memorized and stuff and kind of know what to expect. Look at that. It's amazing. Look at that designer art. Or artist art. I don't know. Oh yeah, and this rail is here too. I noticed they took it out, which is a good call. That's not there in the final build, right? Is it? Because when I was going up it, I was like, Oh yeah, you just go straight into the wall. I would also remove it. I can't remember though. Oh yeah, I can't combo after time. Yeah, I love how they're just like, oh, you fell in the water. Yeah. It's a rough life out there and it's over for you so this i'm not sure what they were trying to accomplish oh it's like a big centerpiece and you're like ah you could i sort of see it now this is way more readable than the one that ships and i could jump across these gaps without having to finagle this is way better Whoa, hold on. I want to re if I hit retry, it might crash. I want to try that again though. Okay. But now I think I'm stuck forever. Is this the wait? No. Oh yeah. They won't stop cheering. I'll just like do a boneless pop shove and then I'm like, yeah, woo! Let's see you tear it up. Okay, I'm gonna retry. I'm gonna save first though. Oh no. Oh, we're going now. <laughs> this game over right away. Dang, we are cruising. Oh, the box. Not breakable. You fell into the void. Rest in peace. Handrail? Question mark. If I stand completely still, everyone will think the game has crashed. Is that the last jump? I'm so confused. I feel like that's like where we started. Here, I'm gonna do a save stay at the start so we don't have to keep doing this.
we need special which we have oh that was gonna say a quarter pipe air would help a lot but these aren't functioning quarter pipes and this just leads us right to the beginning dude this is so scuffed these these rails must be a, just a copy paste for filler they don't function or serve a purpose Oh, they do function. Look at that. Dude, I'm trying to boneless every time and I never get it. I think you just can't do it um, with a late jump. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to see. It looks like... What's that over there? That's oh, just a random ring. Yeah, so I guess they just didn't figure out that centerpiece pillar thing quite yet. And... Oh. Yeah. It looks like I could hang out down here, so I try I'm trying. The void does not like us. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some funkiness going on these outer walls here. Wait, can we get in here? Oh no. This area was always confusing to me. Like, why? This is like the area in the warehouse where you're just like, you get up to this thing, you're like, I'm here. And then it's like, there's nothing up there. It's like, okay, time to go back down. Oh, this is all flagged as skatable. Or wait, what? Yeah, I can't wall ride this wall. Is like, no, you skate on this. Okay. I think it wants me to be in vert air. Let's go. Oh, oh man. I thought we were going to start popping off. Anyway, so that's it. Oh, yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube later, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, join us on Twitch twitch.tv slash nathps don't forget about instagram twitter join the discord follow me on tic tac kids okay bye youtube